In this video, I'm going to recreate the first Harry Potter movie in Lego. Let's get into it. The first Harry Potter movie starts at Four Privet Drive, where some teachers from Hogwarts drop off baby Harry. So the minifigures we need are Professor McGonagall, who can turn into a cat, Professor Dumbledore, who can't turn into a cat, and Hagrid, who's a half giant. We also need a baby Harry figure, who we'll give to Hagrid for now to look after. Oh, that's cute. Now though, we need to build Four Privet Drive itself, so I went out and bought the set. The problem is, the set has no road or front garden. So I went ahead and made all of that myself using a Lego road plate and some vegetation from these Lego extra poly bags, which are actually kind of useful. And there, we've just raised this set from a 6 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10. Now we need to recreate the scene where Dumbledore puts out the streetlights using a device called a Deluminator. Unfortunately, LEGO has never made a Deluminator piece before, so we're going to have to make our own. To do this, we had to commit a LEGO war crime, which involved me cutting this one piece with scissors. Now, we just need to give Professor Dumbledore the Deluminator to put out the streetlights and deliver Harry in the dark. That didn't sound right. Anyway, now Harry's been delivered in the dark and grown up, it's now time for Hagrid to snatch him from the dark and bring him into the wizarding world. Harry's first encounter with the wizarding world is the Leaky Cauldron, where a load of creepy people shake his hand. For some reason, Lego has never made a set of this, so I had to make my own. I made sure to include the bar section, some round tables alongside the larger table for people to sit at, as well as some nice touches including a crate of food, some colourful drinks, a candle, and and also the Leaky Cauldron sign outside. And now we can recreate the scene where loads of creepy people stare at a kid. Oh. Getting him out of there, we're faced with a brick wall, which Hagrid likes hitting with his umbrella. This movie really is weird. Anyway, let's build that wall and build in the mechanism using these grey railing pieces which allows the wall to part ways to grant them access to Diagon Alley. I also added some crates and barrels in the corner and also made this animal stand which can't even fit in the build anyway so that was a waste of time. Now in Diagon Alley, Harry buys his first stick of wood from Ollivander's one shop. Now this was made by Lego but I've got it in a display case at the minute and I really can't be bothered to get it out so I decided to make my own. So I made the shop front which was really a fun build with the rounded windows. In those windows I put some sticks of wood on display. I also made a cabinet filled with one box as a scene in the movie and made a counter for Ollivander to sell those sticks of wood to customers. But if I was you, I wouldn't trust him. You wanna buy some death sticks? Now that Harry has his first wand, it's time for him to catch the train to Hogwarts. However, we don't have a train built or Hogwarts castle, so let's build the castle first. To do this, we need to watch all of the Harry Potter movies again to make note of all the main key areas from the Hogwarts castle interior, and try to make this big Lego Hogwarts include all of them. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be hosting a Whatnot live stream soon. Whatnot is sort of like eBay and Twitch combined. It's a live auction site where you can bid on minifigures I'm selling. I'm going to be auctioning off over 200 figures starting with just $1. Also, if you sign up to Whatnot using my special link, you'll instantly get $15 free credit to bag yourself some free LEGO minifigures from me. By the way, the giveaways will all be free to enter worldwide, so even if you don't want to buy anything, you don't want to miss out on that. I'll see you on my next Whatnot live stream on Friday the 2nd of February at 7pm UK time. So after re-watching all the Harry Potter movies again, the first section of the castle to note is the Great Hall, which was included in this LEGO Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set from 2021. Oh look, a golden owl. So let's use this set as a foundation to expand on. Next we need to build the clock tower because it was shown off a bunch of times in the movies. Inside the clock tower we have the hospital wing for minifigures to go to after they've been chewed on by the basilisk. There we go. Now we need to attach the library where all the screaming books live and we'll build up this section to include Dumbledore's office at the top of the tower. I still think this castle needs beefing up some more, let's add the room of requirement, some dormitories so the minifigures aren't going to be sleeping out in the corridors and also the out of order girls bathroom which is home to the entrance to the chamber of secrets. Now the castle is done it's time to put together this $500 Lego Hogwarts Express set. Oh and the platform 9 and 3 quarters as well. It's not working guys. Hey well, screw the platform. I'm Ron by the way, Ron Weasley. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. Oh, we're here. So now they're meant to get the boat across the lake to Hogwarts and get sorted into their houses in the Great Hall. But that's boring, so let's do the scene from Halloween instead. Turn around in the dungeon! 
Now to recreate this scene using the girls bathroom Lego set isn't going to work as the set's just too small, so I went ahead and bought four of them to make a larger girls bathroom model. Yes, I know this isn't technically the correct girl's bathroom as the entrance to the chamber secrets is in another bathroom, but deal with it. Anyway, so we need to build the troll with the bat in his hand and I think it came out good. Now time for Ron to say, God, Take the bat out of his hand, knock him into the chamber secrets where he gets eaten by a basilisk. Totally happened. So anyway, later on in the movie, Harry plays Quidditch for the first time and ends up catching the snitch by swallowing it. So to replicate this scene, I bought the Lego Quidditch match set from 2018. The problem is that it only comes with half the Quidditch pitch, so I had to buy another one. Anyway, time to build the minifigures and we have some notable ones like Harry Potter, Oliver Wood, Lucian Ball and Marcus Flint. Now it's time to start the match. No Harry, stop trying to eat the snitch. Now we're getting close to the end of the movie and Harry's big objective is to get past Fluffy, the free-headed dog who's protecting the Philosopher's Stone in front of a trap door back at the castle. Now this is where we run into a problem because Fluffy is a big boy and he's filling up most of the chamber and there's not actually enough room to fit Harry, Ron and Hermione in here and through the trap door so we're going to have to improvise. Reduce you. Wait, that worked? Now they are small enough to get past Fluffy and through the trap door. It's time now for Harry to face off with Quirrell to save the day and steal back the Philosopher's Stone. And yeah, I did kind of make Harry tiny, but we're just gonna roll with it. Time to make a tiny version of Professor Quirrell and a used as purple ball piece, which kind of looks like his turban. Now let's build the chamber and to use these candlestick pieces to make the pillars on either side. For the mirror of Erised, I managed to build it with just three pieces and without forgetting the final element of the scene, which is of course all the fire surrounding them, I used a mixture of transparent orange and yellow elements and there we go. Now all Harry needs to do is touch up Quirrell's face and that's a wrap on the movie. Make sure to come and say hi on my upcoming Whatnot stream and don't forget to sign up using my special link in the description to get free money. Thanks to Brightest Witch Bridge for being a premier member of the channel and I'll see you later.